what does um what does a good job look like for you, Sean? That, not who, because that's difficult for you to put it. And no, I wouldn't no, want to write yeah. on it. But what does a good job look like for you? Because inevitably you're going to something when it's broken, not when it's flying. Grant yeah. Potter's very fortunate. He's yeah. going into something that isn't broken, just a relationship between the owner and the, uh -huh. uh, Thomas Tuchel was broken. Um, but what does a good job look like for you? And, and, and what do you think, think a good job is? I think you just sometimes get a feel that a club has got a solid a solid base to it, a solid core, you know, whether whether it's be the, the boardroom usually and the feeling. You know, I've been around it enough to know some of the runners and riders involved in Premier League clubs and there's like a feel to it, you know, and there's a, there's a, a I call it like a heartbeat to the club. Some have to build that, of course. Some you have to actually instill it. That might be part of your job as a manager to give that feel to a team or to a club because maybe it's got lost or it's got stretched. Beyond that, of course, the usual, if it's a Premier League, you'd, you'd arguably need some kind of finance. You know, no, one, no one's got magic dust. I certainly mm -hmm. haven't. You need some kind of finance to allow you the chance to operate. But the biggest thing is look at what you've got first and mould that into a team that can compete. That was my, what I felt was my strength, if you like, or it was my way of doing things. Look at what the reality is, in my opinion. Look at what these players are. What can they actually so do? Why did yeah. you stay at Burnley so long? Well, um, being quite honest about it, the, the I did have a version of control, not all control, yeah. despite what people thought. I didn't have total control at all because I would have spent way more money, let me <laughs> yeah, tell you that, course, yeah. tighter than a creaky door hinge up there. So uh, <laughs> it was one of them. So I would have definitely spent a few quid uh, more. Um, I didn't have total control, but I had a form of control. Yeah. There was other situations that probably could have come my way when I thought, actually, as you rightly said, usually, not always, they're in some form of chaos. Difficult, or, yeah, 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 exactly. Whereas we weren't in chaos, that's for sure. The line from the boardroom through the management structure was aligned. They rewarded me, being being honest about it. Um, they, they rewarded me. Do you look back on it and go, well, they well, rewarded me. Ambitious. I would say they reward me, uh, rewarded me and my staff generously yeah. um, for what the challenge was. Well, you're worth um, what you pay, you get paid what you're worth, right? That's how it well, works. Well, not always, but yeah, that's a theory. Well, it should at do. Least. Um, in Premier League, no one's a pauper, are they? No, and, and I think I think we did. Uh, you know, there is a, there is a thing now. Uh, you're right. A lot of clubs are already quite set. Burnley wasn't, don't forget. Yeah. You know, during the process, you got to remember off the pitch. My little part in building a community department when I got there was one one community staff member. There's 120 when I left. Mm -hmm. The stadium, the training ground. I didn't do everything, by the way, but I, my fingerprints were on a lot of it. Sure. And that's quite a good feeling to actually build something, not just build a team, you know, to build something. Now, I'm well aware the next challenge is probably not going to be like that. It's going to be mainly about the team. Mm -hmm. And then that fine line between coach, manager, manager, coach opens up another debate. But I'm not stupid. I've been in the game a long time. I'm, you're not, very, I'm not expecting you're my very next job. I just yeah. kind of rule it. And he run asked it. you a question earlier on about what which is a more difficult relationship for you, managing down or managing up. Because one of the things I think you guys don't often do very well, not you personally, but a lot of managers don't do, they don't manage up very well. Because you're a very strong character. What do you What do you think you're like managing up with the people that you work for? Because you don't get what you want all the time. Well, and people, managers, got because you're an employee, you've got to do as you're told. Well, I once said to the board at Burnley, I said, you want me to be a lion on the touchlines? Well, I'm not going to be a pussycat in the boardroom. Yeah. So I'm going, you're going to get the real me. You're going to get the authentic fine. real me. You're going to get drawn, what I can offer both. And that, if the truth is the truth, right? Now, you could, of course, you have to be diplomatic, pad it out a bit yeah. sometimes, but the truth remains the truth. So I think that's fair. I think if, I'd, yeah. if I was an owner, I'd want to imagine to just tell me the truth. I wanted yeah. to smoke and mirrors yeah. because that eventually is Because I was very strong about Scott Parker's behaviour. I thought Scott Parker got himself the sack. I thought he did a very good job getting him out of the league because I didn't expect him to do so. He got up. I think the owner told him that he was going to get something. He got what he was prepared to give him. And the owner reinforced it and said, I'm not going to do this. And the owner told him to be quiet. And he didn't. And he carried on and carried on, carried on, carried well, on. Well, it's difficult. It's difficult because you, you, you've got to, you, right, you're in that media world and you've already brought it up about this perception. You've got yep. to sort of protect yourself as well. You've got to work for the club. I mean, I've always been a club player, club man. Yep. But other managers are probably looking at going, oh, I've got to defend myself here a little yeah. bit, you know, protect myself. Now, I thought the bigger picture was always the thing I worked upon. Whatever the challenge was, it's my job. I'm the manager. Give me the truth of what I've got to manage. Yeah, and I'll I manage have to it. deal with it. Yeah, yeah mm. exactly yeah. that. So yeah. I, that was my preferred style. Yeah. But I, do, I don't question managers when they get a bit of heat on them and they have been made assurances and then they're not delivered. Oh, yeah. if, someone, sure. if someone says one thing and does you another, know? that's fine. Yeah, yeah if, well, someone says, the if someone says you've something you don't like... That. But you've still got to get on with it, haven't you? Yeah, but right, you, you, you know oh, yourself, walk. right? You, you, well, oh, okay, walk. and we're, we're paid as managers to handle the heat, right? Yep. But straight after a game, the heat's there, it's not going well, you've been beat, you know, the, the media's there, the camera's there. Trust me, that is a skill that takes a while. So you've, yeah, so you've mastered it. And Charles Ferguson praised you to me well, about uh, the way you, you handle yourself. Yeah, but yourself. that's also good staff, Jim. So when it's coming on top and they can smell it, my staff... 
won't in particular, he'd just go, uh, Gaff, Gaff, what are we going to do Monday as I'm walking yeah, out the door? And really, he's, not, he's, not, he's actually slowed me down. He's like, you need to come back in here. Kid. Listen, Trevor's one of many Evertonians. We had Ancelotti who came and went uh, with Benitez. What a joke that was. If Sean had got the call, would you have joined us? Everton. Well, for one, just to be clear, because it, it was so heavily linked, it wasn't It wasn't real. I, I never got... Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, no one No one spoke to me or any of that, so I just must clear that up while I'm here. Um, proper club, we all know that. People's club, it always feels to me. I think I, I, I have a feel for that because of my history in the Premier League and all that sort of stuff. I think Frank's doing a good job there. I hope he does. Another British manager and English manager is doing well. Yeah. But, but a proper club, I think. A proper club. And it's got a proper feel about it, you know, whenever you go there. I know they talk about the old Sam. I know there's a new stadium. But it's still got that feel, you know, mm. that real feel. Oh, yeah. The stadium. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.